let's talk about Cisco. Uh, you know, another big week of earnings um, on, uh, you know, was it Wednesday? No, it was Tuesday. No, it was a Wednesday. Yeah. It was Wednesday. On Wednesday, uh, NVIDIA and Cisco both reported. We'll talk about both of these in this show. Unfortunately, Robinhood reported, which have I mentioned? <laughs> Terrible company. Terrible company. Anyway, uh, I'll explain that later someday, but not here, not now. So you just have to know terrible company. Uh, but Cisco, not a terrible company. Uh, you know, as anybody that kind of followed the show and followed our analysis on earnings, again, why we do this, not because we're equities guys, not setting price targets. What we like to do right. though, is look at how does this moment of truth that comes out on a quarterly basis really, uh, you know, connect to the strategy that these companies are putting in market? How are they doing? Are they interesting? Uh, are they staying innovative? Are they on the front edge? You know, IT OEMs or large IT infrastructure, especially prem based, actually were some of the slowest recovery names in the tech, uh, you know, recovery that happened during COVID. Uh, that was because people stopped implementing big data centers on prem and moved a lot of things to SaaS and public cloud. So chip, SaaS, public cloud all roared. Um, names like HPE, Cisco, Dell, IBM, all with big on-prem infrastructure, among others, were slower to come back. Great news about this quarter and the end of the year here for Cisco, which it was the end of their fiscal year 21, was that the growth is coming back. Now, when I say growth is coming back, this isn't a Zoom boom. This is a high single digit, which by the way, if you find the tweet app um, out a few uh, hours before I actually said, expect mid double mid single digit growth with an upside of high single digit growth. So I called it, I just want to point that out. I like to call that kind of stuff and then I like to brag about it when I do. Um, the, oh, it's the victory lap, baby. We all need victory laps. So beat on earnings, beat on revenue. But let's just talk about a couple of things that stood out about the beat. One, really great growth in their infrastructure platforms. Now, if you know how Cisco's revenue breaks down, they break it down into like five buckets. Okay, you got infrastructure, application, security, other, which is always fun, and then services. Um, where did growth come from? Well, Infrastructure platforms represents more than half of its revenue. So basically when they're big infrastructure, this is UCS, this is core data center networking, when that part of the business doesn't grow, Cisco doesn't grow. Well, this quarter it saw 13% growth year over year. Um, it saw strong growth from various regions, including 8% um, domestic growth after only almost being flat on constant currency last quarter. Also really strong growth coming out of the Asia PAC uh, uh, geo for the company. Um, you know, interestingly, the applications group, group didn't grow. Now, this is an interesting one to unpack because um, in applications, of course, you're looking at everything from monitoring, observability, you got things like AppD, you got things like WebEx. What's going on there? Because with WebEx, you would expect massive growth because of all the adoption of video and collaboration. However, with Cisco, it's a one plus billion dollar a quarter business, and there are a number of parts and pieces in that applications business. But it was basically flat. It was down a 1% number. I think a lot of people want to know a little more about how WebEx individually is doing because when you see Zoom growing in double and triple digits and you see Microsoft with 250 million Teams users, what's going on there? But we're watching it. But maybe, Pat, the most interesting number, and I'll let you elaborate a little bit on this, and I think we can keep talking about this, is the $4 billion number claimed in the company's software revenue. Right. It moved to 81% subscription revenue, 19% perpetual, 4% billion and they're now proclaiming to be among the biggest software companies in the world which my only thought and then i'm gonna let you go from here is that um this is something that outsiders investors and and customers should feel very bullish about because this is the pivot that an infrastructure company needs to make to stay relevant in the long term and it appears based on the percentage of subscription and the size of that business that the company is in very good shape and it's it's uh, growing at a good clip uh, about 15% on subscription. Wow, you did leave me something. I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, perfect segue, right? Uh, Cisco for years uh, was a infrastructure, a networking infrastructure company. And then they moved into a full service infrastructure with networking, uh, compute uh, and storage. And, and then, you know, they moved along and then, you know, almost like overnight, uh, and maybe that's just overnight because I'm old and can't keep track of my years. Daniel, uh, they turned into a software and, and services company. And this quarter was, you know, almost a quarter of me talking out of both sides of my mouth. Uh, equipment order growth uh, was triple digit. No, sorry, uh, was 31% product orders. Okay, that's 
product, that's infrastructure. That's the best that they've done in a decade. And then now the other side of our mouths, we're talking about it being one of the biggest software companies uh, out there with a $16 billion uh, run rate. Uh, so uh, I think that the software growth is incredible. The services uh, progress is incredible. Um, I'm going to do the double click on that four billion. Uh, I asked Cisco for an explanation uh, of that. You know, what's their list? Uh, they couldn't provide me one, uh, so I'm thinking about creating my own. It's not that I don't believe them. It's just I don't want to throw down that you know one of the largest software plays out there without being more uh, precise. Uh, their CFO uh, said it was the you know they were in the uh, top ten. Uh, it does include SaaS. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be hard hard to figure that out. But I guess that's why we get paid to do uh, what we do, Daniel. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. that's a great that's a that's a great point and a, and a fairly uh, important point that we belabor on is we get encouraged by numbers like that, but we want to unpack it. And we want to unpack it for you out there because you know big claim. Obviously, when you think of big software companies, I, I said this in our briefing, but most people don't think about Cisco, but if this accomplishment puts them in that category top 10 yeah top five global software vendors it almost needs to be reconsidered a little bit how the company is marked we say things like itoem or big infrastructure players but are they yeah you know by the way this this claim and by the way you just double back there so i'm going to double back yeah. uh this top 10 software claim that reminds me of the uh, the webex claim what was it you know improving the experience by 100x or something uh and i was like okay what's the calculation that went into 100x right and you know i learned in my experience in dot com 1.0 dot bomb that uh you know you, you can put a number to anything and you know spreadsheets don't lie but um come on man get, get, get give us some detail on this uh top 10 uh software thing yeah let's uh let's keep pressing pot let's keep asking and eventually i think we'll get it you know it's a good good organization chuck robbins is doing a good job he, he fought a very hard fight over the last uh several months yeah. with supply chain with you know having a large part of the business dependent on this on-prem infrastructure that core business and returning to growth and by the way the guidance was encouraging to mid high single digit guidance for next year so Another solid year ahead for Cisco, but you know what? You can stick with us here because we'll keep talking about it next quarter. You can be sure we'll be coming back and double clicking, triple clicking, quadruple clicking on what's going on with Cisco.